like and subscribe for more videos like this. So as I was saying, all I'm trying to say is like, you know, I like big girls. I like big girls, you know. Can I get your number? You know, let me know. I could take you out on a nice day. We'll have a good time. Whoa, what's up, guys? F minus Mike here. Don't worry about what just happened. You guys go ask out your favorite crush. Let me know. If you guys are watching the video, though, like the video right now. Comment down below your favorite waifu in the game. Mine just so happens to be Gargura over here. And then sometimes you guys know F minus does feel like getting stepped on. So I like Makima over here as well. Hey, it's all in good fun. We love anime. But let me tell you right now, you can already see from the title, we're going to try to pull double secret passives today. You know where we left off in the last video? Let me scroll down all the way in my inventory. I put Famu Atomic, Naruto limitless secret right here we broke it and when i say broke we broke the limits he's level 305 680 q damage and he has a god passive he is ready to withdraw if you guys are watching the video i'm guessing it's like a wednesday maybe like a thursday or something like that i recorded this on a sunday but that doesn't mean f minus isn't talking to you guys in future tense i know that the event is over however all I know is like this unit that we are about to make today, it is gonna end our anime fighters career. We are gonna finish it up. We're going to retire because we are creating the strongest unit in the game. You guys are wondering why I'm not doing this on the newest secret in the game. You guys know Yugi from, uh, I guess his name is Yami from Yu-Gi-Oh. It's because these shards are really expensive and they're really tough to get. In the server, it's about one divine fruit, three of these shards, four of these shards. The one that I'm trying to limit break today is the shinobi one right here with the god passive. Yeah, that god passive. This one right here, it's like one divine fruit, 10 of the shinobi shards. And I have a ton of shinobi shards, 1,400. Yeah, you guys know, 1,500. Basically, we can do about 100 rerolls in this video. And then on top of that, I have 300 77 ocean shards you guys remember where we left off also from the last video i had to fix this right here you guys i got like a genius three and then has tactical three which is great but it has a genius three i need to fix that. i need to take this off and uh, not literally and then this one as well this has tactical three but it has a giant passive giant passive is great if you're free to play for the amount of money i spent on this game i have to stay true to the path that we took guys we gotta get like a blessing we gotta get a mythical another tactical three passive on this character all of this that you're watching right now it's gonna work out and i'm telling you that because we do have this right here the passive luck game pass doubles the chances of you getting a rare passive in the reroll machine i still don't know who gave this to me but thank you um somebody gifted it to me i did not buy this do you guys ever need this game pass in the game all you have to do is like and comment. If you join my game asking for this, I'm gonna tell you to wait for the stream. When do you stream F minus? Whenever the videos do good. And when I say good, I'm talking like 40K to 60K views. You guys also can see, yeah, we got the Gargur team right here. The Waifu Squad. We are about to finish it up today. All of the units that we have in Anime Fighters. Not only are we gonna get like a double secret passive because this right here is already level 305, but that's a different video. I'm just showing you guys, I've pulled two god passives in the game. If you're watching this, you're free to play. Let me know in the comments if you guys also have ever pulled a monster, god, or time lord passive. Any of these passives right here, the secret ones, they're so damn good. This one I think gives 2.25x damage. The monster one, I, oh my god, the monster passive is even better. It gives like 3x the amount of damage, which is crazy because old trademark has it. And I was like, damn. Maybe we can try to get it too, guys. We got one Gargura, two Guras, three Guras. Who's Gura? It's a VTuber, guys. <laughs> four Guras, four Waifus, five Waifus, six Waifus. Oh, we are about to finish it up today, guys. Once again, if you want to see like all of my units, everything I have in my inventory is level 305. These are the last units I'm finishing up. So Flaming Hero, he'll be level 305. For the next video, Adult Gone will be level 305 for the next video. And then we have Sell It, 
she will be level 305 as well for the next video. And then everything else right here, this is the last one right here, Famu Atomic. All I gotta do is just pull this guy out from the li Limitless Machine. And we're about to do that right now. Let's go to Icy Waste. If you guys ever get to the Icy Waste map, you have to limit break your fighters. I'm just gonna say this right now. This is just my opinion. If you guys are free to play, bro, and you cannot get divine units, I'm not saying divine units are outdated now, but for 99.999% of players in the game, you can't get a limitless divine. So there's no point in using them. That's why I took them off of my team. Gilgamesh, yeah, he does 840Q, but every other limitless fighter I have is like a million times stronger than this guy, even Makima, because it's tactical three, then tactical three. So her damage is like what, 760Q? and then times two. So she's actually doing like 2E, which is about double the damage as Gilgamesh, and she has double ult damage, and she has double attack speed. That's the reason I converted my entire team to the newest secrets in the game and only secrets. This is the last fighter we're doing, guys. After I get this, our team is finished. Full team of Limitless Secrets, 305, newest secrets in the game, all of them waifus. Yeah, we just took it out of there. Let's go check her out though, dang. Damn, Atomic, wow, she got that size increase. Dude, I turned so many of these units from got, from male to female, from guys to girls. A lot of these, they're, they're traps in disguise. Oh my gosh, 305 Shark. Now the damage for this one, if I sort it, this one right here, it's 680Q, right? But this right here, once I max out the talent, it should be doing about 1E. And I don't have any other fighter in my inventory doing 1E. The most I have, like visually, this is doing like at least 2E, maybe like somewhere around 2E. But this right here, it's only doing 840 visually. And when I say visually, I mean just like the numbers. Here we are guys in Destiny Island. It's time to max out the talent. I'm gonna double check all of my units to see if everything's maxed out. Gilgamesh over here, it'd be nice. It would really be nice if I could get another one. This guard grower, her name is Shonk. I'm gonna keep the uh, talent like that. It's really expensive. That one is 20. Shark over here, and this is the one I was talking about. We gotta limit break it right now. It's 20 secret fruit, but the damage we're getting is about 60%. 1.6x base damage. And then we max out the ultimate damage. We max out the attack speed. Oh man, and then the movement speed, I'll keep it like that. It is 60 secret fruit. However, if you've ever seen my inventory before in Anime Fighters, I have a ton of, uh, not secret fruit, I ran out now, but I have a ton of divine fruit. Every day people give me like 50 to 100. No, not donations, guys keep in mind just because i get the fruits like i said before does not mean i use it for myself only you know for some of my units but i don't use most of them i give it to you guys which is what i'm trying to say join my games if you ever need something just make sure you leave a like and a comment let's go see what the damage is right now it's definitely higher when you sort it by damage than our gilgamesh gilgamesh is doing a40q how much is our shark doing over here 1e e damage yes we did it guys 1e e damage vtuber simp shonk head uh this one's named code next and this one is named shark 1e e damage the first unit that i have that visually says 1e i don't have to add the tactical passive it's just 1e e straight up damn guys I take a look at her. She does have that size increase. I don't really like it because looks like she's kind of balding and it's just like, I don't know. She, maybe she's kind of molding too. The only thing that we have to do now is just reroll for the video. There are three units that we have to reroll. One of them is our god passive Garguru over here. The other two units that we have to reroll is this Jimmy here. Another Garguru. It's just I converted a lot of them to the waifu squad. This one has a genius three passive. We have to change that. And there's also one more. It's another Gargura, but it has a giant passive. Like I said, I'm loaded today. Do you want raid shards? Join my game. I have a bunch of ocean shards, a bunch of shinobi shards. Yeah, we are ready to go, guys. The first one I'm gonna start off with is this one because we need to do it ASAP. Like this one, she's down bad. Genius 3 does not help with the damage or anything like that. Let me use one of these free tokens that we have. Maybe we can get something good. All right, I believe this is the fifth spin that we're we're doing. Fifth spin right here and Genius 1. All the other passives, they're like blue passive. We got a speedy passive right there, but you know, it's not, it's not, I'm not adding it to the team. I want a damaging passive, preferably because I've been in time trial. I've told you before, guys, if you ever land on tactical one, two or three for time trial killing the main boss is nice however if you're trying to kill the side mobs it's a little difficult okay she has a giant passive wait hold on we got wait 
We got two of the same units here. What is going on? This has Tactical 3 and Giant. This also has Tactical 3 and Giant. And that is the power of the Passive Luck Game Pass if you guys want it. Damn, we're getting dominated tonight. Oh, no. I don't know if I'm ready for it. And then we got another one technically right here. She's kind of bigger than the rest as well. Damn, take your pick, guys. Which Gargoyle right now? Which shark? You guys take it. The left, the right, or the one behind? Or maybe all three at the same time. Oh, my. How lewd. <laughs> We're going back in the reroll machine. For right now, I'm going to keep these two. It's not too bad. I like them visually, I guess. Especially if we have a bunch of them. I mean, she is kind of balding, but... The one that we're going to focus on, yes, this one right here. God passive. I did tell you guys in the beginning, we are going to do our best to pull any of the secret passives right here. It's either God passive, monster passive, or the Time Lord passive. I have a bunch of Shinobi shards. I'm not saying I'm going to spend them all because I know you guys need some, but... I'm going to do my best to try to get any one of these three or try to get ace, maybe a solid gold blessing. I'm not taking anything less than that. If we get tactical three, I'll keep it as well. But like, I'm not taking anything less than tactical three. And it has to be like blessing solid gold. I'm not taking leader three. Leader three is not good for your DPC unit. Ghostly, I, I don't know if I'll take ghostly. Ghostly is good, but like the damage multiplier is not that good. I might take ghostly. I'll keep ghostly. If we get draconic though, I'm not keeping that. Draconic is only a 50% damage boost. If I want a 50% damage boost, you want a 50% damage boost, just get tactical 2 or get strong 3 passive. And those are really easy to pull if you're paid to win. Now, if you're free to play or yeah, if you're free to play, it might be a little difficult. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to spin for ghostly. Damn, that would be quick. Imagine that guy first spin and we got ghostly. That would be oh, there was the god passive. If we get double god passive on this, guys, it's game over. Like, dude, that would just be insane we do have the shards to try to get something at least decent at least the mythical i'm pretty sure we can maybe solid golden god on this one again just like adult gone because adult gone is he got replaced guys and the reason why once again is adult gone with the god passive solid gold it's just it's just outdated it's a little too weak but let me keep on spinning here i don't know how long it's gonna take we have too many shards and from what i know it might take a long time to try to pull a mythical passive. If I see anything good like this, we got a tank passive. Tank passive with the uh, passive game pass. The chance of getting it is, if I go over here, 2%. Every 50 rerolls, I'm going to get a decent passive. Like a passive that a free-to-play player would keep. However, you guys know it, we got to maximize our DPC. Too many people have been bullying F- minus for way too long. Man, your DPC is trash, F-. minus. Oh, we'll see about that now. I already checked out what my DPC is. Uh, without the event and without tactical three it's already over one e now if i add in the tactical three i add in the event i'm thinking like somewhere around like 10 e 20 e something like that how far can we make an ultimate time trial i'm not sure maybe we'll have to do another video on that but for right now we just gotta get that double god passive everybody right now we gotta get you see this right here this monster passive on the right side everybody pray for f minus please right now for all that we've done for the anime fighters community, we gotta pull it. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, we got a tiny passive. Been rolling for a little bit, maybe about two, three minutes. I just wanted to show you guys this. Maybe she's gonna be really small. <laughs> she's actually like, wait a second, she actually is really small. Let me see a, a regular Gargoyle that I have in my inventory. Like this one right here, VTuber. I'm going to equip this. This is the normal sized uh, Abby. And this is the small sized Abby. Take your pick, guys. Left or right? Right now in the comments. Let me know. Would you prefer the left or the right? Personally, I would prefer the bigger Abby. The, the giant one right here. There's three sizes to choose from. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm going to keep on re-rolling, though. We still have a bunch of shards. We still have the God Passive there. I've rolled past some Time Lord passives. I've rolled past some, like, God passives. But at the very minimum, I mean, we have 1,167 shards. We have a ton of chances to get the double secret passive like that right there. The monster passive. That would be amazing if we could get it. And the next time I land on, like, a damaging passive, I'll try to show you guys her damage. Like, if we get, like, a tank passive, maybe she's doing, like, 2E. Ooh! Giant passive. Damn. This is it, guys. This is really it. Let me equip her. Oh my god. That's like double giant right there. If you don't know, God Passive does give a size increase. 
And you guys know size does matter. You can check it out. Oh my gosh. Why is there, is she got like a belt belly button or something? But she is really massive. Wow. And what's her damage? 1.3 E. I thought it would, I, I thought it would probably be like at least one point. I don't know. I thought it would be like at least 1.6. I don't know if the uh, giant multiplier affects the total damage or only the base damage first. I'm guessing it's only the base damage. But yeah, this is the God Passive Giants. It looks kind of nice. She's really big. However, damage-wise, because she already has God, I think it's more beneficial to keep on re-rolling. To try to get maybe a Time Lord. To try to get like a Monster Passive. The one we're really trying to go for is Monster. If we get Monster, that is 3x damage multiplier. That would probably put her at like 2e damage. And then I don't know if she gets like an attack speed increase. Maybe like an ultimate damage increase as well. But that's the one we're really trying to go for. Let's keep on spinning. Maybe we'll get lucky, guys. Yo, Tactical 3. Dang. Woohoo. Right, right, guys. Tactical 3. Damn, we got Tactical 3. Okay, that's great. However, we still have 800 Shinobi shards left. So I have to make a decision right now, guys. Do I keep God Passive in Tactical 3? Tactical 3 does give double damage. However, I thought we were going to go for the double secret passive. God passive, God passive. God passive, monster passive. Like I said, Tactical 3 is great. However, what are, what are we trying to do here? Blessing? We trying to get gold, like the solid gold passive? Right now, she's doing 2E damage. 2E damage. Wow, which is a lot. It really is a lot. It's just 1, 2, 5. How many guard girls do I have? 6. Seven. Oh, we're about to turn one of these guys into a, uh, a a girl. I was gonna say a female into a girl. Adult gone. I don't know if it's gonna be adult gone or Gilgamesh. For right now, I don't really want to transform any of these, especially adult gone because that's a drip unit. I can always change it back. However, if you look at the damage, guys, it's just too low. 560Q, and then all of my other units are doing like 2E because this has tactical three and ace. This has double tactical three. This has tactical three and giant. So she's actually doing like. 1.6 e maybe or something like that and then we still have 20 ocean shards do we try to re-roll one of these other units that have double giant try to get something a little bit better that's what i'm gonna try to do right now this is the game plan guys i'm gonna re-roll one of these that has a giant if i get something good that's what i'm gonna keep if i get something bad i'm gonna re-roll the tactical three passive on the god unit and the reason why is because once again i'm trying to get something amazing on it i'm not trying to be greedy guys it's just like bro tactical three oh blessing passive oh my gosh oh uh, we still got what is that 272 shards 15 each time it's pretty expensive it really is i only got like 10 15 rerolls but once again if you saw the chances of getting something like another tank passive another giant passive it's pretty much like a five percent chance to get like tank or giant like this right here we got another giant passive that's why i'm not too scared i'm not too concerned of not getting a good passive on this again because with the double lucky passive thing the game pass it's pretty easy guys to get really good orange passives orange i don't know about mythicals mythicals are still pretty tough to get but the orange ones like this tactical three hey i'll take it we get double tactical three i would take that guys on this unit now if it's on the god passive i don't know i gotta keep on re-rolling let's see what kind of numbers we can get all right we are down to 11 re-rolls only 11 chances left i'm not buying any re-roll tokens if i need to i'm not saying i'll make another damn video we're supposed to finish this off today and giant passive see i told you guys we got giant passive again i'm telling you like you don't know what that lucky game pass does the chance of getting a common passive is one third less the chance of getting a blue passive is about the same, I think. The chance of getting a purple passive is like double. Orange, double, and then mythical is double. So your chance of getting something amazing for these. We got 10 more rerolls. You guys know we go big or we go home. I'm going to keep on spinning. I want to... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, here it is. Yes. Oh, my goodness. My voice cracked a little bit there. I told you guys. F minus is 15 years old now. We are growing up, if you know what I mean. Damn. Double tactical three. Oh, that is gonna help us out so much. How about our SIMP right here? Do we cheat? Do we keep trying to reroll this, guys? It already has giant. You know what? I'm gonna keep it for now. F minus is not getting too greedy. However, for this one, I feel like we should reroll it. Yes, Tactical 3 is great, but it's like, I don't know. It only affects boss monsters, and then we have 800 shards left. How about this then? I'll let you guys decide in the comments let me know right now go type it in 
should we re-roll it yes or no in the comments just type in yes or no if you guys want me to re-roll it we'll keep trying to go for i don't know another god passive another monster passive another secret passive i'll keep going because i have 800 shards left for right now though we're gonna go ahead and you know keep it as is because it is a pretty solid passive right now it is the strongest unit I have, and it is doing 1E damage. If I equip my entire team now, you're about to see F minus a DPC. And I, I told you, I was like, yo, I'm going to show you a little bit later in the video. I already seen it. It's about 1E. Uh, maybe it increased from when we, uh, you know, started spinning for all these units. Dang, we got the waifus. They're all Gargura except for Gilgamesh. I don't like Gilgamesh on my team. He's just a placeholder. I'm going to change him out for something else. I'm not sure who. I have, like, other level 305 units here. Adult God is just a little bit weaker. Yeah, he has double ultimate damage. He is stronger than our Gilgamesh because of the double ult damage. Double attack speed. And then he also has God Passive, which gives more attack speed. It's just, you know, visually, uh, Gilgamesh does give more damage than Adult Gone. So we'll keep it like that. The only other thing that I can do right now is go to the newest map and show you guys how fast I can kill the bosses. You want to see our DPC though? Let's do a DPC check. It is 1.06E without any Tactical 3 passives. If you add all these Tactical 3 passives up, we got like 1, 2... Actually, this is like two, four, six, eight. Uh, how do we appreciate? Damn, we got a lot of these tactical. You guys do the math for me. How many? One. Every single one of my units has tactical. Every single one of them, except for Gilgamesh. And Gilgamesh is not part of my main team. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven units with tactical three. So our DPC is at the bare minimum 2E because every single one of them has double damage. But then some of them have double tactical three. So it's like this one, this one, this one, and then this one has ace. So this one's doing way more damage. This one has god passive, a little bit more attack speed. If you add up all the math, I'm guessing our DPC is like somewhere between maybe like 10E to 20E. And then if you round it up, I'm guessing it's like 50E. But then because there's a damage event, 50E times 3 is 150E. So my DPC for this video is about 150... <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. You guys know how I love to round... Oh! Damn! Oh my god! Did we really just kill it that fast? Nah, we did not just kill it that fast. He has 80 EHP. We're gonna go ahead and tap him a little bit. Oh my god, we beat the game. We beat the game again, guys. We beat the game. We finished off all of our fighters. I think I'm pretty happy with this. All of them have real good passives. This one has a giant passive. Maybe I could change it out. And then Gilgamesh, I need somebody who can fill his spot. The leader three passives in the game, it's not strong enough. Because my fighters are so strong, leader three passive makes me weaker. I don't know if I'm gonna get a leader three passive. Let's go try to kill the boss in the very back of the map. This is Kaiba again. He dies in like a couple hits. This boss up here though, Damn, who is this? I don't know who this guy is in the anime, but he has white hair. 3.99Z. So I'm going to set all my fighters up there. We got the damage boost going on. 3x damage event. You can see how fast we are killing Unicorn. I've been talking for maybe about five seconds, and he's already halfway down. And he's about to die, actually. I would say total time to kill this guy is about 15 seconds. How much yen do we get? At the very bottom, 1.5Z. I think we did amazing in this video. Once again, let me know in the comments, guys. You got to let me know. Should we change this passive, Tactical 3? I have a bunch of shards. We can still make a double secret passive unit. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Really do appreciate your guys' support. And until next time, guys.